Hey guys, welcome back to Diecast Reviews. It's up to review on Glow Racers, Chase Racelet, and Fillmore, who are a part of the second wave of the Glow Racers line. So, let's take a look at the packaging. Um, they're basically the same, so we'll just look at the chases here. So, Glow Racers are kind of exclusive to Target, but I think you can find them at uh, kind of smaller stores. I think Meyer may carry them, Kroger, stores like that. But you're not going to find these at Walmart, so... I think the big major retailers, Target and Walmart, Target's the only one that's going to carry them. So, obviously, you've got Chase Racelet here. Nice there in the package. Uh, they don't, unfortunately, update the card art for these. Kind of like the NASCAR um, lines. It's a bad example because it's McQueen, but they just have McQueen on the package. The Glow Racers just have uh, McQueen on the package as well, unfortunately. They don't put up a picture of the car you're getting, but there is McQueen looking nice. See, glow in the dark, supposedly. We'll take a look at it. We'll test that feature out at the end of the video. This is supposedly how they all look. So you can see, first wave, we have Danica Cruz, Lane McQueen, and Mater. In this wave, we have Chase and Fillmore here on the back. Um, just on Fillmore's package, you can see his Chase on the back there. Which, Fillmore is a very interesting addition. Like, I understand Mater and, you know, McQueen, Cruz, obviously. Chase, obviously, an X-Gen. Fillmore, very, like, I'm, it's an interesting hat, I'll be honest. It's interesting that he's included in this series. On the back there, you can see uh, glow-in-the-dark feature will last longer if you do not expose this product to intense heat or direct sunlight for prolonged periods of time. Place vehicle approximately 5 feet, 152 centimeters away from a light source for 30 seconds. Placing vehicle closer will not intens intensify the glow-in-the-dark feature. So, well, that's interesting that they give you a little note there about the glow-in-the-dark stuff and you know, like three other languages as well and these are made in thailand uh before these used to be made in vietnam i think the nascar stuff was actually made in vietnam yeah you can see in vietnam there but yeah these now are made in thailand see there's chase and there is obviously Fillmore, who again really interesting because Fillmore really doesn't usually get released in these like um series like these extra spin-off series um Mater, I guess, he's gotten released in the NASCAR one as well, like who Chief Mater. I think Legion Guido were in that one too, so that one kind of makes sense that they were, would release Mater again. But Fillmore, certainly an interesting one, but um, I can't say I'm going to complain about it. I do kind of like Fillmore. He's obviously pretty cool. Anytime you can get the townies in like a special design, you know, that's pretty cool. So let's get them here out of the package. So here they are out of the package, um, and they do look pretty cool. And I'm not sure if Mattel uh, meant for it to be this way, but they both kind of have the same shade of green, especially in the uh, kind of glow-in-the-dark uh, versions. Obviously, Fillmore kind of is the same green as always, but they obviously made Chase a lot lighter green than he usually is. I'll compare it in a second here, but I'm not sure if Mattel meant for it to be this way. <laughs> this is kind of like the green wave, you know, uh, two new cars, both green, but... They do, they do look nice. I do, I do like the shit of green. So let's take a look at Chase Racelet here first. Um, see, here is the just normal cars three. Chase Elliott. This is a China version, so there might be some differences, um, but overall the design should be the same. Obviously, you've got identical expressions. Uh, eye color is different though. You've got blue eyes on the left and green eyes on the right. Um, not sure which one's right. I have the NASCAR version here. He also has blue eyes. So I'm not sure if um, they just decided to change eye color in the middle of the production line or Thailand has decided to chase as blue eyes. I don't know. But there you go. Uh, <laughs> different eye color. See the grill there? Nothing special there. Let's take a look at the hood here. Let's take a look at the no, Glow Racer hood first. You can see the Vitaline logo kind of small there. Uh, you take a look at the... Cars 3 version here, the normal one. You can see the Vitaline logo spills over into this kind of green portion here. It's smaller there on the Glow Racer. I'm going to assume that it's something about the Glow Race, uh, Glow feature, and then, you know, you can't have this green, this white spill over into this green or whatever. It'll mess up something. That's what I'm going to assume. So, I don't know. That's what I'll assume the reason for the changes there. Go to the side here. You've got 
Pissing Cup. You got the contingency sponsors. So you've got the 24, and you've got your normal stripes there. You can see still white and gray stripes. Obviously, kind of the green there, this kind of uh, metallic green here. It's on the hood, and then they made the hood dark green in place of it. But then here on the side, it's metallic green, and they just kept it light green. So kind of changing the colors up slightly there. Um, you know, if metallic green's supposed to be all the way around, then you've got dark green all the way around, but whatever. Uh, I do like this light green, obviously. It looks pretty cool. Got 24 there, obviously. You got the V for Vitaline. Got the gas cap there. I do like the rims too. Um, these kind of neon green rims and white. Neon green tires, I guess, and white rims. Look pretty cool. You go to the back here. You've got Vitaline. You've got the rookie stripes. 24 there. Yeah, looks pretty much the same. Just different color, obviously. This side. Similarly, you can see the dark green there replacing the metallic green. See, so yeah, one thing I do like about Chase is that the two sides are different. You've got this kind of design on this side, and then this design on this side. And that, that's pretty cool that they have the unique designs. There's the spoiler. It's white with some neon green on it. Vitaline for older active cars. Pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, Chase is I mean, its probably one of the better, I think, next-gens, in my opinion. But uh, kind of got, like, an olive color here on the left for the regular version. I really do like this kind of aqua mint green almost on the Neon Racer version. I, I do say that. I will say that looks pretty cool. And I, yeah, I think it looks, it looks pretty cool. And we don't really get a lot of, like, mint-colored cars like that, especially not a lot of mint-colored racers. So uh, I do really like that. Take a look at the base here. You can see uh, S40A, late, very late of 2022, uh, 2023. Made in Thailand, obviously. And like I said, I have the NASCAR version of Chase Race right here. I really do like this NASCAR version, too. I will say I probably like it slightly more than the actual Cars 3 version. Um, got the kind of different hood. You got just that V on the front instead of Vitaline. So he's number nine in this version. Uh, he's got different rims there. Kind of different style paint job there. The rear is kind of similar. With the white and green there. Got the Vito on the back. Then. The sides are decently similar. And there's the roof. Um, but yeah, I do, I do really kind of like the NASCAR version. Like I said, I think I do prefer the NASCAR version to the actual main kind of standard car street version. But there you go. These are kind of two tile and chases, I guess. Also, I do like the addition of the black splitter. Kind of makes it stand out from the rest of the uh, car. So yeah, there's the Chase Race, like Glow Racer. Obviously, we'll come back to this one to take a look at his Glow feature, but uh, he, he does look pretty cool. I really do like the mint uh, color on him. So let's take a look at Phil Moore now, who is probably a little less uh, unique, uh, a little less exciting uh, than the Chase Race Loud version, because Phil Moore is usually a mint color kind of anyways. Uh, he's got his headset here. Um, one thing that I do think is interesting here is the Mater one. Uh, kind of compare the headset. I was going to say that I thought Mater's headset was a little bit more interesting, but uh, I guess, I don't know. I thought it was like red or something. I don't know why I thought that, but yeah, it's just it's just the same standard headset. But I guess McQueen's got a, a like all his pit crew. Maybe we'll see a Legion, Luigi and Guido Glow Racers. That would be pretty cool. I do like the yellow rims or kind of neon green tires there. On Fillmore, that looks pretty cool as well. Pretty special. Really don't ever see that on Fillmore, so that's pretty cool. So you've got the 95 there. Uh, that's right there on the left side of him. I think in the Cars 2 version, this is kind of based on the Cars 2 Fillmore, obviously. Uh, this was like a kind of flaming... Uh, 95, kind of similar to his Cars 2 design. 
obviously this 95 more representative of this 95 here so that's pretty cool Gov's got his logo it's been a while since i think i've done a review on film wars you've got the peace logo there you've got the love sign got the rainbow in the background you've got the road going through there some flowers lots of stickers recycle your oil the peace kind of sticker in the background there See a lot of stickers in the background here. You've got his classic 51237 license plate. That's Save Mother Road, Peace. Lots of cool stickers on the back here. See kind of a rainbow there in the back as well. Kind of another more road there in the background. Go to this side, you've got a big peace uh, text. There instead of the law, you've just got peace. Looks like you got Saturn right there. You see more road there. The kind of peace logo there. Some more stickers. Pretty cool. And then you've got see the stars on top. So I think that looks pretty cool if the stars kind of glow. I'm not sure if they do. Kind of maybe probably too much, too advanced or whatever, but it'd be pretty cool if the stars glue like yellow or whatever. Um and then He's glowing green, right? And then the stars glow like a yellow kind of color. That'd be pretty cool. It does have a brown base. Also S40A. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty new for film wars to have a brown base. Also, you've got his kind of classic license plate right there. And the VW logo there in the front. So, here is Fillmore. Like I said, I compared him to Mater here. The two kind of crew chiefs of McQueen's team. Interesting that Mater gets a recolor. Um, and, it, it, you know, it's painted red in McQueen's colors. And then uh, Fillmore stays in his classic green. That's kind of funny. But, yeah. Let's take a look at Chase here and Fillmore together. Let's take a look at their galore feature. I'll be right back with the lights all turned off. And we'll see how well these two glow. Now, McQueen, Cruz, and Mater, they were okay. Uh, I think Mater was the best one. Uh, but they weren't spectacular. But with this green, I kind of expect the neon green to be a little bit better. So we'll we'll be right back and we'll see how well these two glow in the dark. I'm not sure how well you can see that. I don't think the camera picks up incredibly well. But they do glow in the dark. Um, and I'd say they glow slightly better than Wave 1 cars do. I mean, here's Cruz. Just put her in the background there. Kind of zoom it out. You can kind of make her out. But yeah, see, I don't think it's as clear as these ones, right? Like, there's Chase. You can see that he's green. Uh, you can't really see Cruz there. It's just kind of dark yellow. Film looks pretty good, too. Um, I'll put McQueen here in the background. You can't really see him at all. He's just there. Yeah, there he is. You can't see him. Um, but made her back here as well. Uh, you can kind of make it I'm not even sure. The camera doesn't really pick these up guys up very well. I one recording the dark way well. But they definitely glow better, I will say, than Wave 1 did. Um, and I think, I think green's just, neon green is just going to work better as a glow-in-the-dark kind of color. So, there they are. They, they're okay. Um, yeah, I think they, they glow fine. They glow well. Better than the first one. So, there you go. There's the glow-in-the-dark feature tested on these uh, So, there you go. There's how well they glow in the dark. I definitely think they did better with these ones. And, I, again, I think it's just because green is going to work better than, like, the yellow that they had. It wasn't even neon yellow. just yellow. And, I guess, the neon green works better. So, there you go. Uh, definitely an improvement. Uh, maybe it is just Mattel perfected or, you know, improved their glowing paint, whatever. Uh, and, and if that's the case, that's also nice to see that they're uh, trying to improve at least or, you know, whatever. But it, it, they did work better, I will say. They did glow better than the uh, other one. So, there you go. Um, definitely can't complain about these ones. I really like the colors on Chase. I think he looks cool. Filmer's always a nice release, and I'm, I'm glad that they decided to include him. It's kind of an oddball, but... I like the oddball here and there. I think I think it's a nice decision to include them. So I will say that I prefer this wave to uh, wave one. They glow, they glow better. The the choices are not you know the same. Cruz McQueen made are obviously Cruz is peg warming, um, like crazy. But uh, these ones are interesting choices. The colors are nice. They glow nice. I I do like this wave. I think it's a it's a good good wave. Good release by Mattel. We'll see how Will Rush does. Brian inside Laney. We'll see how well they glow. But these two they glow fine. They glow better than the first ones. And I think for $6, whatever they are, they they find it. <laughs> they go okay. So, 
Uh, let me know what you guys think if you found them. Uh, have you tested their glow in the dark feature? How well do you think it glows? Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments below. But thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.